Hello everyone, Phoenix Fella here, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator Let's Play Let's Talk video. We're on a new map. Uh, we're on the Midwest, uh, what's it, cattle, livestock, and grain, or whatever. Uh, I, I really, I really like this map. I wanted to move over here, and I just, I haven't yet, so I, I'm taking the plunge. We're going now. Uh, we're going to scout out which, which house, farm, thing we want. Uh, I like this one. I do like this one, but I want to check this other one out down here. But yeah, let's let's play. Let's talk. What we're we gonna? You know what? No, we're just we're just gonna go with this one. I think I like the house on that one down there more, but this one looks like it's got more storage. So we're gonna go with this one. Um, but I, I don't know what to really talk about. Um. <laughs> Interesting, I know, right? Uh, so interesting. Uh, but, um, I don't really know, guys. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody really gave me suggestions. Um, let's talk about the, the, the state of YouTube. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm moving around. I won't get comfortable for this. Um, let's talk about the state of YouTube because YouTube lately has been making some pretty dumb decisions. That thing is blowing smoke like crazy. But yeah, YouTube has been making some pretty dumb decisions. First, you had, um, they wanted to be more advertiser friendly. They wanted, you know, want to be accepted by more, um, how to put it, more kid friendly advertisers you know I, I, I can understand that you know YouTube's a business they're in the business of making money and you know they can make a little bit more money off of being a little bit more kid friendly then they're gonna do it um, so I don't, I don't really fault them at that I fault that they're they're hitting instead of taking into consideration you know they're the people that's making them money uh, are, are, as content creators. They're taking it all into the... They're becoming essentially Walmart. Okay, Walmart cares nothing about their employees. For anyone who states otherwise, well, evidently, you worked at a fairly good Walmart. But, you know, I work at... Or I worked at, I should say. Uh, I worked at a relatively crappy uh, Walmart. And, you know, I had... I had... I still have a lot of close friends that work at that really crappy Walmart, and they're they're still getting treated the same as I was. So I, I can, without a doubt, say it's still going on. Um, but yeah, you know, you know, YouTube has really become like Walmart. They care nothing about the content creators. They care more about their their how much money they're making, which it's mind-boggling because content creators is what's making YouTube money you know <laughs> we get paid yes they pay us to make them money it's much like Walmart okay Walmart makes money because they have their workers there to sell stock and clean their shelves but yet they they don't take the word of their employees they rather take the word of the you guessed it <laughs> Buyers, uh, consumers, customers. There you go. Um, so basically, that's what YouTube's doing. They're really turning their backs on content creators here lately, and really focusing more on their, you know, making more money, which is I just don't get because content creators make YouTube money. Um, but anyway, I'm I'm, I'm rambling, but. Uh, they started off with the whole uh, not advertiser friendly, which if you guys didn't know what that hoopla was all about, uh, if your titles contained certain words, they got flagged as non advertiser friendly, um, and you know it, it, it's I understand, but what what YouTube needs to do instead of of you know <laughs> instead of targeting a, a mass spread like the, all content creators they need to focus on those that are approved for 
kid friendly you know like their kids app and stuff like that you know that's what what they need not everyone because you know what a lot of ch 90 percent of youtube's channels are not kid friendly mine certainly not somebody said that last week that i said my channel was kid friendly if you can point to where i said that at I, i'd greatly appreciate because i don't remember saying that. i've actually gone on record multiple times saying uh, my channel is really not kid friendly and you know, I wouldn't w let your kids watch it. I've done some videos in the past targeted it more for the younger crowd you know for those that can't really watch my my live streams and stuff like that like Sundays uh, we try to keep it relatively kid friendly because you know my kids are present during the live stream and so on and so forth but I would, I've never claimed to be a kid-friendly channel. A lot of my videos that involve the, the rest of the Outcast Posse uh, are definitely not kid-friendly. Ooh, let's... Hold on. I just noticed that. Let's slow that down. Uh, off. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, they're definitely not kid-friendly. I would never recommend you watch, let your kids watch, especially Friday night streams. Um... <laughs> The actions of Tough 977 are not necessarily those are of Phoenix Feather and some of them, so anyway, <laughs> I don't remember it. Um, but yeah, you know, after, on the heels of that whole debacle, which really pissed off a lot of the bigger YouTubers, a lot of the, you know, cha-ching, money makers, um, they turn around and do YouTube this new thing YouTube heroes where they actually have people you know like give reward them for flagging videos now YouTube everything every feature you put out has been abused by by the, the, the public um, look at your look at look just look at the like and dislike feature you have look how badly that dislike feature is abused <laughs> just just look at it for me please um, because there are people and, and I'm pretty sure it comes with all all types of channels uh, but there are people that dislike my video simply because it's not farming sim or simply because it's I'm doing something in farming sim that they dislike so <laughs> It's it's lose lose, uh, and that's what's really got me all in uproar about this whole YouTube heroes thing, because I deal with a relatively I'm not talking about everyone here, a relatively childish, the uh, childish, childish uh, community when it comes to the farming simulator community. I, it, it, it's it's quite obvious how child. Okay, I don't like this truck. <laughs> I like it, but I don't like how it handles. I don't like it. It doesn't snap back. It's going to throw me off so bad. Okay, let's just... Yeah, let's just try to see that. Is there a cell point here? Yeah, we'll park it off to the side and it's out later. But... <laughs> this community is very childish. Um, just look at ModHub. ModHub is... All the proof you will ever need that this community is just uh, um, there's so much drama and all that in there that really something where users could flag my video for any certain little thing um, it, it would suck it would suck for my channel and any of those associate it with with farming sim it would it, it would suck I, I just I, I don't get what YouTube's you know thought process behind this is you know let's let's give an Ari abusive community which this is this is YouTube community altogether um, the, the power to just randomly flag anything they don't like that's what it necessarily is I mean 
if if you shoot straight and arrow and follow all the guidelines and everything, then yeah, okay. Um, yeah, you're you're safe. But for guys like us, where we we joke a lot about some very um, risque <laughs> topics, it's it's very disheartening. And I don't know what I'm I'm shooting for here, but it's it makes you think. You know what? What am I going to do here? It's on. It's going. Um, what was I saying? Oh crap, I left that sitting out here. I forgot, I forgot completely what I was talking about. Uh, <laughs> you too, I know that much. Uh, but for someone that's in, you know, or why would you two create something that could be just blatantly abused and reward people for it like you're gonna reward people for flagging videos and this is nothing that I think is h3 h3 productions brought up uh, just how funny this whole thing is people are actually gonna sign up for this and enjoy this a lot but guess what you're not gonna get actually paid you're gonna get rewards like points you're not gonna get a paycheck which is absolutely hilarious because YouTube they're not gonna they're not gonna compensate you for time they're just gonna give you points and you can you can unlock these these awesome things and so it, you gotta really watch the video the video is, is quite hilarious they're presenting it like it's it's you know be a YouTuber you know make a ton of cash and money and so on and so forth I thought I picked this as purple. No, definitely I didn't. Crap. Oh. I I lost I lost so much train of thought there that it's not even funny. I don't even I don't I don't even want to talk about YouTube anymore. Anyway, uh, yeah, YouTube's probably gonna come down on me for this one. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's just my thoughts. My thoughts. YouTube just likes it. So be it. Oh, there we go. How'd I do that? There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay. I'm. Wow. So easily distracted. Um, what YouTube really needs to do is to to stop worrying about making money across the board, which I understand it's a business. It's a business. They're gonna do what's right for their business. But instead of you know just cramming this child-friendly crap down our throats, what they really need to do is allow you know monetization you know the spawn or boom <laughs> what I'm gonna say here da, 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 today junior um <laughs> uh, I've lost it I've I've so lost it uh, but they need to if a uh, advertiser wants only kid friendly their their advertisements on kid friendly channels then do that they've already got that sort of formula in place because they have the YouTube Kids apps where only approved channels can actually get their stuff seen on there. Why not just stick with that, YouTube? You know, allow those channels to get the kid friendly monetization. But this, you know, this is what really blows my mind here, okay? 
YouTube is all about this kid-friendly advertising stuff right now. But yet, just and, and you know, they're hitting channels hard where, where drug use, public nudity, or public nudity, nudity in videos, um, cursing, and all that. When YouTube just a few months back had an advertisement where a guy was having kids try weed. YouTube was promoting a video where a woman was partially new. you you saw you saw everything. She was like laying down for a massage and you saw everything. YouTube promoted that. YouTube is now having an advertisement I just ran into last night with a woman in a bathtub and for somehow they edited out part of her breasts so you don't see nipple uh, I'm, I'm sorry for lack of better words uh, but yeah basically it's she's naked but there's no there's no nipple it looks really really weird but it, it's clearly there so <laughs> I don't get where, where, what's actually you going through YouTube's mind. Like, it's okay for you to be naked and you know try try weed uh, or give weed to little kids as long as you pay us. As long as you pay us, you can you can have drug use in your video and show show boob if if you pay us. But if you're you're a content creator. I'm sorry. No, that's not not their deal. Which I can understand. You know, both of those are completely do not belong on YouTube. But the cussing, you know, the the humor and stuff. Why? Why can't we do that? I don't get that. Just don't get it. Um, I don't know where I, I was going. Like I, said, I didn't have an idea of what to talk about. It just I've, I've been really peeved as a content creator lately for YouTube because they are they, they just I, they're not thinking with their heads they're not thinking with their dipstick Jimmy anybody remember that commercial that commercial was awesome um so I don't know YouTube get your crap together please uh, I I really love doing YouTube I really enjoy enjoy you know the not just the monetary part of it, I do enjoy it, but the really satisfying part to me is the interaction with other people. I've, I've gained so many friends and stuff, I, I've, I say this a lot, through YouTube, and, you know, to, if, if I had, you know, if YouTube just up and stop, you know, allow me to add ads to my, my videos you know I took my way my monetization of it everything I wouldn't be able to do YouTube anymore I, I, I wouldn't I, I could probably still do it but I wouldn't be able to devote as much time to it if that made sense now right now I'm in a beautiful spot where I can I'm making enough through YouTube to devote so much time of my day to it uh, but if that went away I'd, I'd have to I'd have to you know find another job somewhere else there would be no way uh, I could I could even fathom sticking it around with YouTube and and doing you know YouTube as much as I do now that it would be out of the question there'd be no way so you know it's got me worried it really does and especially being a part of this community where it, it's so childish you know so many people are, again it's not the whole community as a whole you know it's it's a lot of of the community though uh, a lot of this community is super childish and they they really hinder what the community could be and I, I only see it getting worse in 17 a lot of people are like oh you know 17 a new game you know it, it, it it'll get better no because <coughs> allow me to you know leave you guys with a little bit of, of a heads up of what's going to go on in 17. Um, 17 Giants 
has already stated that they're going to make there's going to be a new way of converting mods. You upload the mods to their their cloud-based service, so you upload it to their their site, and you they'll convert it for you, with the exception of Lua files, and then they'll tell you how to fix the Lua files. So they're going to do this, which opens the door for everyone to upload any mod they want from third or from 15 and convert it and then re-upload it to you know what have you mod hub whatever and take credit for it that's what this that's what's gonna happen I you know I've talked to a couple of my modding buddies they already see it happening and it, it we're probably gonna lose a lot of the good modders no lie we've already 15 destroyed the farming simulator community absolutely if you were played farming simulator 13 and was involved in the community even as little as i was you can tell how badly 15 has destroyed the farming simulator community or the american farming simulator community even there's not even much like european stuff coming out anymore that's really good because they they've even been hit with what we are going through so you know it, it's it's really sad to see and now giants has made the uh quote unquote mod thief i don't i don't like that word because they're not mod thieves they're just they're just idiots that like to take credit for other people's work plagiarism mod plagiarizers is that a word screw it if it's not it is now <laughs> but why we don't need this where I got one we got that other one but um yeah giants have just made it easier for mod plagiarizers uh, to throw anything up on mod hub just convert it have have giants do the dirty work for you you know that you don't know how to do and you know go from there that's essentially what what 15 or 17 is gonna be so I hope you guys are ready for it it's gonna be absolute chaos and it's just gonna it's gonna be everybody was kung fu fighting <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it if you, if you can't tell but that's gonna do it for the day guys uh, I'm sorry that yeah, I was I was all over the place I really was um, but no that's what happens when you don't really have anything to talk about uh, I, I kind of I, I start this kind of way too soon I, I realized that I should have taken some time and jotted down some some ideas for let's play let's talks but I haven't because I'm a super slacker but anyway uh, if you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more of Farming Simulator 15 Let's Plays, Let's Talks, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.